Okay, welcome back to my channel. As you see, I have uh, something new for you, and uh, boy, it's been a ver very long time since I have something new to show you on the channel. This is not that new though, it, this quad has been for sale for maybe two or three years or something like that. I'm going to show you what you get in the box. You're getting information, the manual. It's a good manual, I think. The Hubsons always doing quite okay, good manuals. And a disclaimer warning. Uh, we uh, get a, a light, uh, 2700 milliamps, 7.4 volts, a 10C battery um, it can give us 20 watts hours um, a little prop remover tool an adapter for the charger and you see it's a different charger here a sunscreen and the controller, the I think it's called H901A, I think it's a standard transmitter. And the fun part with this transmitter is that it actually can take LiPo batteries for AA batteries that you also can use in this controller. So this is an updated controller though. Um, and then we have the quad itself. It comes in the box for props and uh, spare props. I actually lost one because I've got an issue with it. Uh, it crashed on me. I did forget that it comes in menu for how to install the H901A's sunshield cover. And this is uh, how you puzzle it together here. And it's kind of easy to put together, but it's not as easy to take apart, I think. But it works. Okay. I bought this uh, quad in the Swedish or Scandinavian retail store, Technique Magazine. And to be honest, I really have to say, don't buy it from there. Uh, buy from, if you really want this quad, buy it from TomTop, Banggood, Gearbest, or whatever you could buy it from. But don't buy this thing in Europe or in the European stores or something like that because it's, they really steal you of the money. I bought this quad for close to 3,700 sex. And uh, that's close to 454 US dollars. So it's quite expensive to buy it in Sweden, Scandinavia and Europe. I don't know how it is uh, when it comes to uh, American stores like US or Canada or stuff like that. But China has a much better price point where it's kind of half price. And for this quad, I think... This quad isn't worth 3,700 crowns. About the quad itself, as I said before, it comes with four, uh, four props and four extra props. Uh, but it uh, drives, it needs uh, this battery, as you can see, uh, 2700 milliamps 7.4 volts 10c battery um, to record the flight you will need to have put in an sd card in this sd card slot here and i would tell you more about the flight when i get out and how it to connect it to the receiver the trans the TX but um, it's it feels sturdy and it's kind of good quality plastic it's kind of rubbering feeling to it 
Uh, when I fly it, it do get kind of hot down here. I'm not sure if that should be the case, but it really do get hot down there. We'll look at the, the transmitter. And we start on the sides here. Those two holes, this one here, the first is for the glasses or it's an AV output. You can connect an external screen or connect it to a television set that has um, a SCART connection or something like that. But this uh, hole down here do not work for anything. On the other side we have the mini USB port. Um, it's the same cable that you use for, for um, printers or and here we have an SD card slot and this one is only used to uh, update the transceiver itself, the transmitter. I don't know how many inches this uh, screen is in, but I think it's maybe close to at least four or five inches. I'm not that certain, to be honest. But it's a color screen. Um, it's, a it's an okay screen. It's a little dim, perhaps. Uh, this button up here is for the manual mode or altitude hold mode and GPS hold. Uh, the button on the other side is for return to home. If you put, pull it up, it gets you return to home. This is for movie clips, recording movies and take pictures. Uh, throttle, if you have it, are in the mode 1 configuration and this is the directional stick. A banking left and right and up and forward and back. Gas up, throttle down, your right, left, your right. These are the trim buttons. If you press, uh, I think it was this one, for uh, some part of seconds, you will let down the LED lights. Uh, to connect, the, if the controller do not work properly, it will not connect to the transmitter, uh, do, to the quadcopter, I mean. You do like this, you press this down, and then you pull this one up. And it would and you have to have the quadcopter close nearby to do that. It do actually work with the Hubson H502 series trans transmitters as well. Um, to calibrate the sticks, you press this one up like so, and then you do the same way. The, the transmitter should be shut off like this and then you press R, turn it on and then you would do accordingly like for up and down to the side and uh, up and down to the sides and like this and then you go round and round and round it's easy to do with both hands and you you press any trim button to uh, stop the calibration. Uh, to do it, if you have mode one, you do like this. You press them out in the corner, out, and press turn on the transmitter, and you do the same as in mode two calibration, and you stop it by pressing any trim button. Have the headless mode and the follow me mode. The follow me mode, you press this like this uh, left stick, just like that. Oh, sorry. I do with this one. Like that, and you will get into follow me mode. 
And to deactivate hold on me, you do the same. You press it down once. Just a short press to get in headless mode. You're doing the right throttle stick. And you do it short. And then you do it back. It says 0 0.5 seconds in the manual. But to be honest, it's just a very, very short press. Uh, then how to get into the screen itself you do like this I press it on now you go down with this one and then you press down this for 1.5 seconds and then you get into the main menu of the screen and as you see here it says set sensitive it's always in expert mode so be careful this is actually why the quad actually have a problem with the TOD tumble of death uh, so if you want to fly it you have to put in in normal mode if you want to be aware that you doesn't tumble down the sky the only problem with this mode is that you would get troubles to shut the motors off and to sh turn them on uh, as you see you can just move it the sticks like that uh, here well the f the 5.8 g frequency if it's a bad frequency frequency you can change it here you see there are some you just do it and change it until you get a good frequency you can turn uh, it, it does also you can turn uh, this mode off if you doesn't want to use the FPV monitor you can shut it off and don't send the and save the battery on the quad um, of course the quad does this all automatically you do here is if you want to set the quad into manual mode you disable the barometer and the altitude hold function um, this is a good feature the quad won't activate or arm the motors if you don't have enough GPS satellites onto the quad uh, and here you are seeing the information from the screen and the TX and if you have the, it connected to the quadcopter you would see the information of firmware and everything on the quad itself and you exit it by going this way remember every time you shut it down it will get into default mode every time you turn it off so when you turn it off it doesn't save what you have uh, changed the settings into when you turn it on again so uh, this was a little about the screen and a little about the, the transmitter as fail safe modes if you get out of range, the quad would return for itself and get into return to home mode. Uh, when it comes to uh, having control during this occasion, this moment, uh, it it seems to be depending on which firmware you have in the con in the control and into the quad copy itself. Uh, I don't think mine is possible to move or draw or anything like that. It just turns around, pointing the camera away from you, and flies backwards. Uh, if the battery is getting low, it will just land on the spot. You do not reverse or come home at all. So beware.